Only on two tonight, a mother is speaking out after her ex-boyfriend, whom she claimed sexually assaulted her daughter on video, was found not guilty. Yeah, that judge did not allow the jury to watch the video because of how it was obtained. The juror tells KPRC2's Rowan Belogan if they were allowed to see that video, the verdict would have been different. He is live outside of the Harris County Criminal Justice Center. It is a story you will see only on two Rowan. Keith, okay, Danielle, I want to share with everyone at home how we're covering this case. That man was found not guilty, so we are not naming him. The mother of the victim was ready to be on camera. She wanted to speak out about all of this, but to protect her daughter's identity, we are not identifying her. It was disgusting. I was, I was hurt. I was crying. I was, I was in pain. I was pretty much... I was hurt because that's the person I trusted for like over six years. This mother said she watched a video showing her former partner sexually assaulting her daughter. Video she and prosecutors say the man recorded. She is, at the time she was seven when he started doing it. The assault she said stopped after the man's then girlfriend found the video on his cell phone. The woman was going through his phone because she thought he was cheating. This is why the presiding judge didn't allow it in court. What I saw uh, was the most disgusting thing that you could ever see uh, in our community. Stephen Belt prosecuted the case. He works in the DA's Crimes Against Children Division. He said the video was alluded to throughout the trial, but they couldn't show it. I mean, it was everything in this trial. I mean, we wouldn't be here right now if the what I believe the correct outcome would have been made. At the end of every trial, prosecutors and defense attorneys can meet with jurors. This case was no different. A juror in the trial tells me when she found out the substance of the video, she was stunned. And I think we all just felt sick. Obviously, you, you think, okay, we did what we had to do based on the evidence. And then to find out, 180 degrees, you got it completely wrong. KPRC2 legal analyst Brian Weiss said it all breaks down to the 4th and 14th Amendments. Citizens are free of unreasonable search and seizure. To most folks, what happened today is the ultimate legal technicality that results in a clearly guilty defendant walking out of the courthouse. But at the end of the day, that's the price that we as a society pay for ensuring that all of our constitutional rights are protected. Now, since the jury was seated when the judge f ruled that they were not allowed to see the video, the DA's office is not allowed to appeal that ruling. Live downtown, Roman Belogan, KPRC, 2 News.